Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video we are going to be making this little Coraline um, doll. She is all 100% no sew except for putting her little buttons, her mouth, nose, and her hair. Her jacket is removable. Her hood comes off. Um, this is a crochet along, so I will be doing every stitch with you. But if you get lost or I do something that you're not sure about, there will be a 30 second drop down of the pattern instructions at the beginning of each row. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Not only does that help me out, but it also will notify you every time I load a new video. You can also visit my channel and click videos and it will show you all the different items I have made so far. And remember, check down in the description below the video, click more. You might have to click it twice again and down there I'll have links to my Facebook page so you can share your work with me once you're done. Okay, I think that's everything. So grab your yarn and let's get started. So before we get going on the arms, I realized I made a mistake when I got to about here. Um, every time I do a double set of eight, it's 16 stitches all the way around, but you're going to hear me say 24. It's not 24, it's only 16, and I will fix that up in the um, drop down in the little brackets where I have how many stitches per row, it'll say 16. Follow the 16 or you're going to have a really wonky, funny arm. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, we're going to begin with the arm. And you're going to make a knot with a loop on the end as if you were chaining. Or start however you're used to starting. As long as you have the same amount of stitches in the first row. And if you're starting like I am, you're going to insert your hook, grab your yarn, pull up and through, and chain one. And that does not count as a stitch, that just attaches your yarn to your loop. And for round one, you're going to do six single crochets into the loop. One. Two. three, four, five, and six. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for row two, you're going to do six increases. So that's two single crochets in every stitch all the way around for a total of 12. So increase one and two. Increase three and four. Increase five and six, increase, seven and eight, increase, nine and ten, and increase, eleven and twelve. 
rows three and four, you're going to do 12 single crochets all the way around. And I'm going to do that consecutively. Two times 12 is 24. So I'm just going to count to 24 and flip my marker when I hit a set of 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Flip your marker and keep on counting. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. For row five, we're going to be doing a double crochet cluster of three and then 11 single crochets for a total of 12. And I might be calling it the wrong stitch, um, so just bear with me on that. So you're going to Yarn over, go into the next stitch, grab your yarn, pull up in three. You've got your three loops on your hook and you're going to grab your yarn again and you're only going to go through the first two loops and then you'll leave two loops on your hook. That's one. Now you're going to yarn over again, go through that same stitch, grab your yarn, pull up and through. You've got four loops. Grab your yarn again and go through those first two loops. And now you'll have three loops on your hook. And that's two. And this will be our third one. Yarn over into that same stitch. Grab your yarn, pull up and through. Now you have five loops on your hook. Grab your yarn, go through the first two. You should have four loops on your hook. And because we've done three, we're, we're finished with our cluster. So we're going to grab our yarn and we're going to go through all four of those loops. And there's our little cluster stitch. And now we have 11 more single crochets to go around and I'm going to count consecutively. So this was one. This next stitch will be two. Pull that tight if you need to and pop that thumb out. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Row six, we're going to do one single crochet, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of eight, but we're going to change color in the next row. So when you get to that last decrease, we're not going to finish it off. So make sure you're going the right stitches here around the thumb. One single crochet and one decrease for two. One single crochet for three. Decrease for four. Single crochet for five. Decrease 
four, six, single crochet, four, seven, and this is our last decrease, number eight. So you're going to go in, get your three loops on the hook, and don't grab this and finish it off. And we're going to change our color now. Now grab your lighter color that you're going to do your stripes with. And you're just going to tie that on a couple of times, nice and close to the hook. Just a regular tie. Nice and tight. And you can get rid of your white and clip that off. Okay, and then grab... Um, your new color and you're going to pull it through those three loops and finish off your decrease of the last round. Rows seven and eight are just going to be eight single crochets all the way around and I'm going to do that consecutively again. So eight times two is 16 and I'll just flip my marker when I hit eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Flip your marker. Our next row, keep counting, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and when you get to your 16th, you're going to insert your hook, grab your yarn, and don't finish that last single crochet because now we're going to change to the darker pink. So we're going to tie on our new color nice and close to the hook. And don't cut this one now because we can just carry it along and grab it when we change back. So we're only going to do it in one row, then we'll be back to the lighter color. So I know it's a little tricky and awkward because it's so small. But okay, so finish off your last single crochet. And now we're for row nine, you're going to do eight single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then your eighth one. Go in and grab your yarn, but don't finish that. Now you're just going to grab your lighter color. I like to keep my stitch marker out of that mix. And then just pull through. And drop that color. Rows 10 and 11, you're going to do eight single crochets. So again, I'm just going to count to 24. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight. Flip your marker if you're using one and keep on counting. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and your sixteenth one. Just do it. Grab your yarn and pull up and don't finish that off. And grab your darker pink and pull that through. You might have to see how I just, see I just loosen that a little bit. Just pull that down, keep that nice and tight. Now row 12, I think. Eight single crochets all the way around. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now your eighth one. You're not going to finish that. Just go in, pull up, and you're going to grab your lighter pink. And pull that through to finish off that last stitch. Rows 13 and 14, you're just going to do eight single crochets all the way around. So again, we'll go to 24. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Flip your marker if you're using one. And keep on counting. Nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and don't finish that off because now we're going to be switching to our darker pink. So grab your dark pink. Or peach or whatever you're using and pull that through. Tighten your stitches if you need to. And row 15, you're just going to do eight single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, and eight. And don't finish that eighth one. And you're going to grab your light pink and you're going to pull that through to finish off that eighth stitch. Um, row 16 and 17. I'm just going to be eight single crochets all the way around. So again, we'll be going to 24. One, two, I mean 16, sorry. Three, four, five, Six, 
seven, eight. Flip your marker if you're using one. Have I been saying 24 this whole time instead of 16? Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and our 16th one. We're going to grab our yarn and not finish that. Grab our dark pink and finish that single crochet. Row 18 is just going to be eight single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven and our eighth one we're not going to finish we're going to grab our light pink finish that stitch off and this is our last um, row of dark pink you should have four one two three four and now we're going to tie our pink off our dark pink so make sure you grab the right pink whatever um whatever yarn you were striping with And then we're going to tie that nice and tight. I'm going to hide that end down inside so it's hopefully not in my way. And row 19, you're just going to do eight single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, now we're going to stuff the arm. So I'm going to remove my marker and just pull my loop up a little bit. And if this is your first arm, when you grab your um, stuffing, grab enough to do both arms and just kind of feel like you have the right amount. Now we're only going to be stuffing the hand and a very little bit up the sleeve because when you put the jacket on um, you don't want the arms to stick out like this and if there's a lot of stuffing here plus the jacket arm it's going to want to go straight out. So grab um, what you think you want and then save the other bit for your second arm. And then I'm going to split this little tiny bit in half and shove that way down into the palm of the hand and oh whoever told me to use scissors instead of a hook to do this this is awesome way to get the stuffing in a tiny little area so for some reason it's sticking right here there we go right down there in the bottom and then you'll take your other little bit and we just want to kind of evenly get that from the palm of the hand or the thumb to the top maybe a little bit of space in the in the very top just make sure you get a little bit here just kind of feel it if you're happy with where it's sitting Now we're going to close up the hand or the arm. So you're going to fold it in half. 
and you're going to go through the next stitch on the front side and the last stitch here on the back side. Let me get that in there and I'll show you. So make sure you're under both sides of the V, front and back, and then you're going to do three single crochets across. So one, pull that tight if you need to, and then in the second, front and back through both sides, two, and then in the last one for your third single crochet, front and back, both sides, Give that a little tug if you need to, and then just pull through. We're going to tie that off and leave a little bit of a tail. Um, even though these are going to be crocheted in, I do do something with the ends. It kind of makes the arms a little um, neater looking. So if you've just finished your first arm, I'm going to put a screenshot over in the next frame with a timestamp. So you can go back to the start of the arm and do your second one. If you are done your second one, just keep on watching and we will continue to the next part. Okay, now we are going to do the leg and we're going to start with the boot. So grab your yellow if that's the color you chose. Make your knot with the loop on the end, or however you like to start. Insert your hook, grab your yarn, chain one. Remember that doesn't count as a stitch, that just attach your yarn to your loop. And for round one, you're gonna do six single crochets into the loop. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And here's a little tip if you don't know. Um, I have a little bit bigger of a hole than I expected because I made my loop a little big. If you crochet over your tail um, and then you just give it a pull, that will tighten up that little hole in there. Or it should anyway. <laughs> okay. Row two, you're going to do six increases. So that is two single crochets in every stitch all the way around for a total of 12. So increase one and two, increase three and four, increase five and six, increase, seven and eight, increase, nine and ten, and your last increase, eleven and twelve. For row three, we're going to do six increases and then six single crochets um, for a total of 18. And I'm going to count this row a little differently. I'm going to count the increases and then I'm going to count the single crochets. So one increase. Two increases. three increases, four increases, five increases, 
and six increases. And now we'll have six stitches left on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And all together that was 18 single crochets. For row four, we're gonna be going in the back loop. So if you've never done back loop, your normal stitch, you go under and through both these um, Vs, each side of the V. For the back loop, you're gonna go down through the middle of the V and then out the back of the V. So for round four in the back loops, we're gonna do 18 single crochets all the way around. So in the back loop, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And if you're doing it right, you're going to notice you're starting to get a little line around here and that will make your um, bottom be flat and your sides start to come up. Ten, or 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Row five, I'm gonna deconstruct this row as well into three sections. So we're gonna do three single crochets, three decreases, and then nine single crochets for a total of 15. So we'll begin with three single crochets and we're going back our normal way under both loops of the V. So that's one, two, three, and then we're going to do three decreases. So one decrease, two decreases, and three decreases. And then we have nine single crochets to finish off our row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Row six, we're gonna do the same way. You're gonna do three single crochets two decreases, and then eight single crochets. And that you will have a total of 13 stitches. So three single crochets, one, two, three, then two decreases, one decrease, and two decrease. and then eight single crochets to finish off the row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Row seven, we're gonna do the same way. 
three single crochets, one decrease, and then eight single crochets to finish off the row for a total of 12 stitches. So we're going to begin with three single crochets, one, two, three, and one decrease. And then eight single crochets to finish the round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Rows 8 to 11 is 12 single crochets all the way around. And if we're going to trust my math today, 4 times 12 is 48. So I'm just going to do 48 single crochets and then flip my marker when I hit a set of 12. 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, flip your marker, and that was one of four rows. Keep on counting, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, that's two rows of four, flip your marker and keep on counting, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, and that's three of our four rows. Last one, keep on counting, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Okay, now we're going to go in the front loop instead of the back loop. So again, instead of going through the normal way under both sides of the V, you're going to come through the front and then up the middle of the V and complete your single crochet. So for row 12, you're going to do 12 single crochets in the front loops for a total of 12. And um, make sure you start in your next stitch in the front loop. One, two, three. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and when you do your twelfth stitch, we're going to change color now to blue. So you're going to start your stitch. You're going to grab your yarn, pull it up and through, and leave those two loops on the hook so we can add our blue now. Or whatever color you are using for pants. So give that a couple of good ties. I almost always do at least three. And I think we are done with the yellow for now. Let's cut that off and get it out of our way. Now grab your blue strand and pull it through that last single crochet to finish off our row. Um, okay, how am I going to show you this? For row um, 13, we are going to be going in the back loops, but we're not going in the back loops of the row we just did because we want that to kind of puff out like this. We're going to be going in the back loops of our previous row. I think row 11, so we can kind of get that texture of the boot being over top of the pants. So when you look at your um, boot, you can see this row of stitches. That was what was left behind when we went in the front loop. So now we're going to go in the back loops of the same row, um, 12 single crochets. The trickiest part is finding the right stitch. You want to have 12 single crochets when you get to the end. Sorry, I'm making this a mess. So you want to go down right in this first stitch here and grab that back loop and do your first single crochet. And then grab the next back loop two and if you're struggling try and fold that lip down and it's a lot easier to see your your back loops so three four five And if you're really struggling, you can always um, have not added that brim, but you'll be much happier with the outlook of it, of the finished product if you, and I just messed up my counting, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine. Now oh, here's where it's going to get tricky. Finding those last stitches. Ten. Eleven. And there's that very last one right there. Sometimes it's tricky to see. Twelve. Rows 14 to 22, you're just going to do 12 single crochets all the way around. And that's nine rows. And I'm going to do mine in sets of three rows. So I'm going to do the first 36, the second 36, and the third 36, which will equal nine rows. So let's start counting to 36. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and flip your marker if you're using one, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, flip your marker, Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, Thirty-four, thirty-five, and thirty-six. So that's our first three rows of nine rows. And before we go any further, let's put a little bit of stuffing in here. Um, if this is your second leg, just be aware of how much you put in the first leg because it's really easy to overstuff the foot on the bottom. I actually am just going to put little bits in at a time and then kind of push that forward but hold your foot. This is where it's going to split right here um, and you'll see um, the stuffing underneath. So be very careful right there and if you happen to open those stitches you can always use some yellow yarn to stuff the toe and that'll kind of hide the fact that you put a little too much in there, pushed a little too hard. So just a little bit at a time. Fill up that foot. Kind of decide how firm you want it. And I think that's pretty, pretty similar. I'm gonna put a little bit in the leg and up the boot. Now, if you want to stuff as you go, um, do it that way. I'm going to get to a certain point and stop stuffing, but only because I can't fit this. When I get further on to the head, I won't be able to fit the, the whole doll into the frame. So I need to be able to fold the legs down. All right. So our next three rows of nine rows, we're going to start at one again. One, two, three, four, five, six, oops, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Flip your marker. Thirteen, whoops. Fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 
18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, flip your marker, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35 and 36 and that's six of our nine rows so we have three more rows to do we're going to start at one one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Flip your marker. Keep on counting. Thirteen. Whoops, what happened there? 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, oops, I'm trying to look just in my camera, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, flip your marker, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. Now, if you're just on your first leg, you're going to tie that off and um, cut your yarn with a little bit of a tail. If you are on your second leg, do not cut this string because you are going to just continue on over to the other leg. So there'll be a timestamp in the next frame so you can go back and do the second leg or keep on watching and we will do the next part. All right, you should have both of your legs done and stuffed. And now we're gonna have to move our stitch marker because so otherwise we're gonna be joining them at the front and we want our stitch marker to be in the back. So you're gonna um, have your feet facing away from you. You're gonna fold the foot with your working yarn on it. Find about half. And you're going to single crochet right over to the last stitch on the back side. So right here. 
for me is going to be one, two, three, four. Yours might be different depending on where you end it off. So one, two, three, and four. Now grab your other leg and decide where half is with the foot facing away from you. So I'm going to go right in here in this stitch. And we're going to join the two legs together. Whoops, my hook's on the wrong side. And we're going to join our two legs together with one single crochet. And now we're going to have 12 single crochets around this side. And then we're going to come back in on the stitch right here and do 12 single crochets on this side. So that's one, our joining stitch. Go around your knot where you slip stitched. That's two. Three. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12. And that next stitch you can see is your joining stitch. It's going to be on kind of an angle, but that was your joining stitch right there. Now you're going to go over to the other leg. So you have a stitch in here. So you're going to go over to this stitch. And then you're going to do 12 single crochets around this leg. So you'll have a total of 24. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And that'll bring you all the way back around to the back of your um, legs. Now for the next row, row 24, we're going to do 24 single crochets all the way around. And this row um, is very important that you have 24. So if you get over here and you have 23 or 25, just do an increase or a decrease on the last stitch. So this was our last stitch here of our two sets of 12. So our next stitch is going to be right here. So for row 24, 24 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
14. Make sure you're going in the right stitches. 15. 16. 17. 18. 19. 20. 21, 22, 23, and 24 should bring you to your stitch marker. And if not, just adjust your stitches. So this row is 24 single crochets. For row 25, we're going to do three single crochets, one increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. One, two, three, and an increase, four and five. And just repeat that sequence all the way around. Six, seven, eight, and an increase, nine and 10. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, and an increase, fourteen and fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and an increase, nineteen and twenty. 21, 22, 23, and an increase, 24 and 25. And this should be our last set, 26, 27, 28, and an increase, 29 and 30. Row 26 is going to be 30 single crochets all the way around. And when we get to our last stitch, we are going to um, not finish it because we're going to be changing colors. So one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and our 30th. We're just going to grab our yarn and pull up, and then we'll change our color. You're going to want your light pink. And we're just going to give that a couple of ties. Attach that to our blue right down close to the hook.
can cut our blue off. Pull that through to finish off our last stitch. And for row 27, we are just going to do 30 single crochets all the way around. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Why am I keep catching that? Ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Row 28, we're going to go in the front loop. So remember, that's going down through the front and then up through the V. And we're going to do 30 single crochets in the front loop. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, make sure you're always in the front loop on this row, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. So we just went in the front loop of row 27. Now we're going to flip that down and we're going to go in the back loop of row 27. So you see that line of stitches? If you didn't see it good in the boot, you'll really notice it now. So 
So make sure you get down in that first stitch. And for row 29, back loops, 30 single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, and notice if you keep that last row flipped down, you can see your stitch is nice and easy. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and then you probably have to find that last stitch down in there for thirty. Okay, I think we're through all the trickiest parts now. Nope, I lied. One more tricky part. So this is where we change our color to the dark. So either undo that last stitch or get it so you got your two loops back on the hook here and we'll do our color change with the darker pink. Okay, so tie your darker or striped color on. Nice and close to where your hook is. And don't cut this lighter color because we can just flip it back and forth like we did on the arm. You can tell it's getting taller. I'm hitting my lights. And then just pull that color through, finish off the end of that row. And now for row 30, we're going to do 30 single crochets and we're going back into the normal way under both of the V's. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 
24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. And don't finish off that stitch. You're going to grab your lighter color and pull that through to finish off. We're going to be going back into the next color now. Row 31, you're just going to do 30 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Row 32, we're going to do three single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. So one, two, three, and a decrease for four, five, six, seven, and a decrease for eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and a decrease for sixteen. 17, 18, 19, and a decrease for 20, 21, 22, 23, and a decrease for 24, but don't finish that decrease. Leave the three loops on your hook and grab your darker color and pull that through to finish off that stitch. Pull that tight if you need to. Row 33, you're just gonna do 24 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. And don't finish off that stitch. Grab your lighter color. Oops. And pull that through. Okay, rows 34 and 35. You're just going to do 24 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 23 and 24 so that's one row of 24 and I'm going to keep on counting for the second row 25 26 27 28 29 30 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, and 48, and we're not going to finish that off. We're going to switch our colors again. So grab your darker color and pull that through. And if you messed up like I just did, just give your dark or your lighter color a tug. Row. 36 is going to be 24 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 8, 9, uh oh, I'm hitting something, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. And don't finish off that stitch. Grab your lighter color. Pull that through. Uh, before we get going too far, I probably should close up this little hole in the legs. I'm going to lose that string. You don't want to start stuffing it and then find out. Um, what one do I want? This one. So grab that leg tail that you had. And I'm going to have to turn mine inside out because I went way too far without closing this. So if you ever do a second one, close it after you, like sometime before you start the pinks. And you're just going to go, you're going to, so that's your hole between your legs here. So you're just going to go on one side and then the other side, go through and then do the same thing on the other two matching stitches on the other side. Just grab a piece of each stitch and you'll just go do that back and forth about, uh, I don't know, three times, two, three times. Just make sure you're grabbing both sides, but you're not making a bigger hole somewhere. Um, actually, I think that's good for me. Just push your finger against there and see if the hole opens up. And if you're happy with it, you're just going to tie that off on the inside somewhere. I'm just going to grab the other side of the stitch here. And give it a, a knot or two. I think I'm going to do twice. And that, you can either cut it or just throw it down inside one of the legs. You can also be stuffing this as you go. I find the least amount of stuffing I have, the easier it is for me to, to maneuver and get my stitches nice and tight. But it is a little trickier to stuff if you do it that way. Row 37 and 38, you're just going to do 24 single crochets all the way around. So that'll be 48 and I'll flip my marker when I hit my first 24. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 
24. And then flip your marker. Keep on counting. 25, 26, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, and 48. And don't finish off that last stitch because we're going to change back to our dark pink. Oh yeah, it's right here. I don't have to do nothing. Oops, come on lights. Perfect timing. Okay. Row 39. We're going to do two single crochets. One decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. So one. Two and a decrease for three, four, five, and a decrease for six, seven, eight, and a decrease for nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and a decrease for fifteen. 16, 17, and a decrease for 18, but don't finish that off. We're going to grab our light color and pull that through. And we can tie this pink off now, the dark pink. I'm going to cut mine first to make it a little easier. Nice and tight, down against your hook. Now we're going to add the arms. And before you do, just double check. Oh, I wonder if I can move this without knocking everything over. There we go. Just double check that you're nice and even and straight. And your, where your arms are going to start, just in case your stitch marker is in a different place. So I think my arm's going to start about there. I have six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then my arm will start there. Oops. 
So I'm just going to mark that. So you want three stitches on each side. So one in the back, one on the side, and one on the front. So that's just in case yours are off for me. So for row 40, you're going to do six single crochets. And don't worry if your number's a little different than mine. You want to be more concerned about whether they're on the sides. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now I'm at my marker for my arm. Grab one of your arms and with the thumb and the string facing the front. So the front is um, where your toes are and the opposite side of where your stitch marker is. I'll take that out too. So go through your first stitch of your arm. and your first stitch of the body. So that was your last stitch. So you're gonna go in this next stitch right here and do your single crochet. And you're gonna have three across the arm. So that was one, two, through the arm, through the next stitch of the body, and single crochet. And now your third one through the arm and through the next stitch of the body. Now in the next stitch, you're gonna start six single crochets across. Make sure you don't go in the same stitch. It's really easy um, to, th to think you're in the wrong stitch. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you're going to grab your other arm. This time your strings will be and thumb will be the other way facing the front. So where the toes are. And you're going to do the same thing. Three single crochets across through the arm and the next stitch of the body. So that's one through the arm, through the next stitch of the body. That's two. And then one more time through the arm, through the next stitch of the body. And that's your third single crochet. And if you were in the same place as me, you're at the end of your round now. If not, you'll have another one. Or if you go over, just move your marker so you know when you get to the other side. Okay. Row 41. You're going to do one single crochet, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 12. So one and a decrease for two, three and a decrease for four, five and a decrease for six and don't go over your strings. You want those on the outside. Seven and a decrease for eight. Nine and a decrease for 10. 
11. And a decrease for 12. And don't finish that off because we're going to change to our skin color. All right. So tie whatever you're using as a skin color on. And do keep in mind if you have a peachy toned skin color and you're using a peachy tone here just watch that they don't look too similar that was the problem i had with my stripes i had like a a light peach and a dark peach and it just didn't show up good there so i'm using kind of an off white for the skin color today um so you can cut your light color off we are done with that and we'll pull that through now decide if you want to add some more stuffing right now I can't because I don't want to have to be crocheting way halfway up the ceiling um, oh I think she's gonna look so cute I don't know why I waited so long to make her Okay, now we're going to start the head and we're going to go in the back loops of all the stitches and we're going to do 12 single crochets all the way around in the back loops. So remember you go down through the V and out the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And that was row forty two. Row 43, you're just going to do 12 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Row 44, you're going to do 12 increases. So that's two single crochets in every stitch all the way around. So increase. One and two. Increase. Two and four. Increase. Five and six. Increase, six 
seven and eight. Increase, nine and 10. Oops. Increase, 11 and 12. Increase, 13 and 14. Increase, 15 and 16. Increase, 17 and 18. Increase, 19 and 20. Increase, 21 and 22. And our last increase, 23 and 24. Row 45, we're going to do three single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. One, two, three, and your increase four and five. And then just repeat that all the way around. Six, seven, eight, and an increase, nine and 10. Eleven, 12, 13, and an increase, 14 and 15. 16, 17, 18, and an increase, 19 and 20. 21, 22, 23, and an increase, 24 and 25, 26, 27, 28, and an increase, 29 and 30. Row 46, you're going to do four single crochets, one increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. One, two, three, four, and an increase, five and six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and an increase, eleven and twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and an increase, seventeen and eighteen. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, 22, 
and an increase, 23 and 24. Twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, and an increase, twenty nine and thirty. This should be our last set thirty one, thirty two, thirty three. 34 and an increase, 35 and 36. Rows 47 to 53 is just going to be 36 single crochets all the way around, and that'll be seven rows. And I'm going to use my poor little neglected row counter. instead of just multiplying them and doing them in sets. So, our first row, 36 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35 and 36 and I'll just mark that as one row done start again at one one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 
32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So that's two rows done. Start again at one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, <clears throat> excuse me, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. That is three rows done. Next row, another row of 36, beginning at 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, oopsie, 7, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. So that's four rows. Another row of 36, starting at one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. So that's five rows. Two more left. Start at one again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, Twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. That was six rows. Now we're on our seventh and last row. One more row of 36. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 
23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 34, 35, and 36. So that was our seven rows of 36. Now I'll let you decide um, how far and how much stuffing you want to have up until to this stage. Um, if I wasn't trying to keep this in my camera view, I would have it stuffed up to about here. So you still have room to work here, um, but this is all stuffed. Um, I'm going to go at least two more rows before I stuff mine. Okay, so row, what row? Row 54, you're going to do four single crochets, one decrease. Um, repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. One, two, three, four, and a decrease for five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and a decrease for ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and a decrease for fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and a decrease. For 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and a decrease for 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and a decrease for 30. Row 55, you're going to do three single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. One, two, three, and a decrease for four. Five, six, seven, and a decrease for eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and a decrease for sixteen. Oops, 17, 18, 19, 
and a decrease for 20. Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, and a decrease for twenty four. Okay, I'm gonna stuff her um, off camera now, and then when I join you back, we should all kind of be in the same spot. Um, don't stuff the head too full. So it's still a little easier to do um, your stitches on top. Okay, let's see. So you should have um, her mostly stuffed. Keeping it nice and even all the way up. And I'm going to do at least one more row before I finish stuffing the head. I just have it like that right now. So it's easy to work with still. And for row 56, you're going to do two single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. One, two, and a decrease for three. Four, five, and a decrease for six, seven, eight, and a decrease for nine, ten. 11 and a decrease for 12, 13, 14 and a decrease for 15, 16, 17 and a decrease for 18. Now I'm going to add a tiny bit of stuffing. And I'm going to do my next row. Row um, 57. Yeah, now it's going to be tricky. Um, is going to be one single crochet, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for 12. And then, whoop! See? <laughs> I was just going to apologize for if I go out of frame here. <laughs> I really went out of something. Okay. So one single crochet, one decrease all the way around for 12. So one. And a decrease. For two, three, and a decrease for four, five, and a decrease for a six. Seven and a decrease for eight, nine and a decrease for ten, eleven and a decrease for twelve. Now stuff your head as much as you need it because when you get down to the, our last row of six, it's going to be trickier to get your stuffing in. 
I can do this on camera here. When I'm kind of, when I'm doing it, I'm kind of pulling her her um head out a bit to the side because she's got more of a blocky kind of wide head. I just haven't done a test of her head yet. I've done a test of a this pattern with a different um, face. So I not I don't even know for sure if the button eyes are gonna fit on her good. So I hope so. And I never checked if I had two matching buttons either. So this could be interesting finish for her. So I think that's that's stuff pretty good. So I think I lost my where there it is. I think I'm going to leave it at that. So we should all be about here. And then we're just going to do six decreases at the top of the head here. Now this one, for me anyways, is tricky. I don't have the best looking decreases when it's stuffed. But remember, if you're like me, um, this is all going to be covered in hair, so you're not really going to see it. So don't stress too much on your decreases when you're doing a doll with hair. So six decreases, row 58. One decrease. Two decreases. Three decreases. Four decreases. Five decreases. And six decreases. Sorry for the squeaking, but I just want to get these six stitches in. <laughs> there we go. And then you're just going to slip stitch into the next stitch. And tie that off. Leaving a bit of a tail to sew it closed. take my stitch marker out too. So I think I'll go here. Oh, I want to try the jacket on her so bad, but you guys don't have the jacket done yet. Grab your darning needle now. Um, I've been trying to train myself to use this metal one, um, but it's just so short and slippery to grab. But it definitely ain't gonna break on me. Okay. So you're just going to weave in and out. I just grabbed the top loop of the last stitches. Just back and forth. And then you're just going to give that a nice little tug. Cinch that in. And then give it a tie. Somewhere close. Um, once or twice. I'm going to do mine twice. Okay. 
and then oh, I made a mess of that second one, didn't I? But you're just gonna put it down through the center and out through the back somewhere, and then you're gonna pull that down and in, and that will hide my messy little knot. If you're worried about that popping back out, just go back in where you came out and just go back and forth side to side through the stuffing a bit. Don't pull it tight. Back in the same stitch, out somewhere else. Make sure you're going through a hole though and not um, into a stitch so you can put it back in. Just gently pull it till it's through this side. And let's do one more time. So if that end does, for some reason, ever come out, it won't on this one because of the hair. You always have like a ton of string left over to re to fix it or re put the end back in. Okie dokes. Oh, well, we got our darning needle out. Let, needle out. Let's uh, let's fix her arms. Let's see if I can tip this without everything dropping. <gasps> nope. Grab one of your arm strings. And you're going to put it right in the last stitch um, of where you put your arm on. So right in this, this stitch right here. See this orange around that pink? And I'm going to go just in front of it. Right in there. And then come out the back, right close to the neck, but in the same color. Well, it might not matter, same color, but. And then do the other side. Just double check you're in the same row. And then that stitch that's going around that pink your last stitch of your arm join and then come back out the same hole that you just put your other thread through now give it one tie and keep keep your ties straight so this arm is going that way and that arm is going that way just don't get it twisted turn it around and then you're just going to give it a pull to bring those arms in and pop those knots kind of on the inside. So pull as tight as you want, wherever you want it. I think this one needs a little bit more. And then once you're happy with where it is, just give this a better tie so it's nice and tight. And it's going to stay how you have it. And then we'll just thread these out and through somewhere. Let's see if I can do two at once here. Almost. Come on. There we go. Okay. So just go down in that same hole where you tied it and then out. And I don't know, I keep going in the same color, just, I don't know why. I think we're going to do our face next, but I kind of got to sort that out. So I got to take a break. Um, for now, grab your buttons. Um, you want 
ideally two black ones the same size and then I will meet you back here once I figured out what I'm gonna do okay I think I know what I'm doing but look at this what I found in my little buttons not cute if I can't do a dragonfly this is what I'll be putting in her hair so grab your pens and I'm going, let's count from the bottom because our top is messy, or mine is anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Around the tenth row, that's where you want the center of your buttons to be. So depending on the size of your buttons, this one's probably about 15 millimeters. Um, I'll measure that and put it in the, the front um, materials list. So I just put it where I wanted it. You're kind of in the center of her head, maybe up one row. And then I just pin that in for now. And then do the other side. Check that they're even how you want them. And then for the nose, I went from the center down about two rows, one or two rows, just so I'm at the bottom here. So if that was my center, I went down one row and then between the next two rows for that pin. And then I went down two more rows to do the middle of the mouth, if you're gonna put a mouth on. And then I went up one row and then over to the sides of the eyes. This one might be a one. This one's a little cockeyed. It's too close there and too far there. So just kind of pick where you want your eyes. Your nose will be on each side of that and then your mouth will come like this. Okay, let's see. Um, I watched the movie last week and this thread should be black. But I want to see the little X's on the eyes. So I'm going to use white. Where's your needle? And when you're, if you have, if you just found some scrap buttons, what I'm gonna say ain't gonna help you out too much um, because you have what you have. But if you are buying buttons, do yourself a favor and buy yourself buttons with holes in them that are big so your needle will fit through them. It's been a long time since I've sewn a button, so hopefully I can do this. So I'm just going to go down under, grab some, grab a piece of a row, and without moving your eye too much, I want my holes to be on the bottom, so if I can find that, I'll come up. Leave a little bit of your string on the outside. Then you're going to go down. Sorry, I don't want my eye to move. And you're going to come back out where that loop was. If I can grab it. You're just going to go slide inside between the two threads so that's all one piece and then that way you don't have to knot your first stitch and pull it it should pull tight but it doesn't want to there we go You can 
hide that in later. And now you're just going to go across a couple of times. So you're going diagonally and diagonally all the time. And I know this isn't the best job, so just be patient, take your time. Just kind of keep an eye on the placement and that you're going, you don't actually then like go down or across, you're always going in an X shape. So I'm just gonna go around a couple of times On the, on the one, and then we'll do a couple of times the other way. Hindsight, I, if I knew where these eyes were going, I should have put them on before we closed up, but I didn't. And as you're going, you want to make sure you're tighter and tighter so that eye isn't moving around. This could be a little neater. What is with this one string there? All right, now I'm going to go the other way now. And I might redo this later so it's neater when I can actually have it nice and close to me and see what I'm doing. But just to give you an idea, if you've never sewn a button, this is how I do it. And then when you're done, come out where you started. Oh, these pins. And then just tie that and hide your ends. I could have left a little longer tail here. Like I said, this one will probably have to be redone. <laughs> yep. I can't even get it to go around. Come on. There we go. No. There we go. And then you'll just cut that and hide these little... <laughs> It might really kind of fit to leave them out, but I'm going to put mine in. I'm just going to grab a little hook and shove it in the hole. This might be a smarter way. And just pull that out. So then do your other side. Where was this from? I actually have a feeling I'm going to do this side better. So go down and up. Leave, see, I left myself a nice, good long tail this time. Down and around a stitch. And then come out to the same place. I should have used darker thread so you could see what I was doing. And then you're just going to go under that knot between the two stitches. Or the two pieces of thread. So like this. And then you don't have to tie that side.
make your X on the one side. I don't remember how many times I went. I'm thinking I went about four times. Yeah, this side's going way, way neater. I shouldn't have made the X first, I guess. I should have just one-sided it and then other side. Okay, so I'm going to finish this side. And then I'm going to go to the other, other side and make a make my X for the other side. Oh yeah, see this one's way neater. I should have done a practice one first. Whoops. enough come back out where you started your thread and then tie it of times and then we'll pull that through the back of the head oops thread there it's through so that's all I care about okay now grab a chunk of your skin color am I missing a pin I should have four of them there they are Oh, I don't know, probably an arm's length or about. We're going to do the nose. So you're going to come up just under the row where your pin is for your nose, and you're going to go over one stitch. You're going to leave a little bit out for tying. And then you're going to go on the other side of your pin into the next stitch over. You can get rid of that pin now. And you're just going to go around that little batch of stitches. So come right back up your that same hole. And just go around a few times. I think I usually go about four to six times. Try and keep your tension about the same or you'll end up having a piece, one piece kind of stick out. 
So I'm going to go again. And I think that's good enough. You can just kind of tell there's a nose there. So I'm going to go back in this side. And then I'm going to come out where I started. Right there. And then we're just going to tie that. Not too tight because you don't want to pull your nose stitches. Just gently. And then as you go with your second and third knot, you can pull a little bit tighter each time. And then re-thread and pull that out the back. So you're going to go right in where you tied it. So you can hide that knot and then just somewhere out the back. Careful not to pull too tight because you don't want to wreck your nose stitches. You may have to lift that up a bit and close that hole. And give it a cut. And then grab some black. And you're gonna start just under your pin. I might go one more down. You're going to come out where your one pin is on one side. You're going to come over to where your other pin is. Make sure you're in the same row, unless you want it to be kind of a cockeyed. And you're going to go down in the center where your pin was. So right now you're going across, but you're coming out where you want the bottom of your mouth to be. So there's your straight mouth. And then if you just come under and then go back in the same hole you were just in and then back out this hole where you started. And that will bring that down into a little bit of a grin. And then you're just going to tie that. Again, not too tight because you don't want to pull your, your mouth. And then you'll thread that out the back. And then through the same hole out the back. Just anywhere. And careful not to pull too tight. Tuck 
that in so he can't see it. And then just double check you didn't make a hole. And that your mouth is how you want it. And there's your little face. You could do little stitches across here if you wanted. I think I'm, gonna, I'm leaving mine how it was. Is. Alright, and now let's figure out the hair. Okay, to make your hair, you're going to grab whatever color you're using. You're going to fold it in half and just kind of measure from the center of the head down to a, just below the shoulders. And just kind of gauge how long your hair is going to be because you can always trim it after so make it a little longer than you need. And for me, this is the perfect size for my cell phone. So that's what I'm going to use. So take your one end and put it on the bottom. And then you're going to wrap it around once for one hair twice, three, four, five, and do about 30 or so. Then you're going to cut on the bottom. And then you're going to cut across right here. So remember, I'm flipping mine around, so I'm still on the side where I started. And then you've got all your hairs the same length. Now to attach it, you are going to find the center of your head. So I put a couple in already so you can see what it looks like. So there's the center of your head where you closed up the hole. And if you have a trouble finding that, just follow your spirals around in your rows until you get to your last six decreases. And to attach the hair. You're going to go down in that center hole, come out around the row, fold your hair in half, making sure the ends are even. And you're going to grab that yarn, pull it through and up. And then you're going to grab the other end of the yarn and you're going to pull that through the loop you just made. And then pull it tight. So you're just going to go around and around and around and around until you get to about your fourth row. So that's one, two, three, four, right about here. Um, that will be where I stop for sure and then see if you need to add any more. So you might want to add some back down here, depending on how thick it gets. Or you might want to make a little line going down the side. And then when you go to start your next row, you're just going to go down. So this was the one we just did. You're just going to go down and then start going around again. So in every one of these stitches, where this, so this was over a row, you're going to go down and do the other side of the row. And then you're going to go down and do this side of the row. Okay, I'm going to leave you with that. Um, it's probably going to take a while. And then we'll come back and do the next part. So I'm just going to show you what I'm trying with the hair here. Uh, last week I made this little guy and I'd made him out of um, a project I'd already started. So all these ends were all twisted up and kinky. And I just wet it and blue dry it and it made it nice and straight. So when I make a doll's hair normally it's all poofy and everywhere. So I've hung her upside down. I've wet her hair. It's wet right now. Then I squeezed it out as best as I could. And then I've straightened it down all around along her head. I've kept out a little piece for the bangs. 
And then I put this elastic band on and I'm hoping when it dries, it will keep it nice and tight on her face. And I'm pretty sure I'm not making the dragonfly. So I'm just going to probably bend this chunk of hair over here and just tie a little bow. I still got a couple kinks left. So what I'm going to do for this piece is pull it down and over. And I'm going to put another elastic band on there just so it's kind of the way I want it. And then I'm going to tie a little bow right here. And we'll see. Maybe we'll put that there. I haven't decided. Probably. Okay. Fingers crossed this works. Okay, we're gonna start our jacket now. So I'll leave a bit of a tail. And then you're gonna make your knot with the loop on the end. We're gonna be doing a chain. So insert your hook and then grab your yarn and pull through and chain 25. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 20, whoops, 25. And now we're going to be going in the second chain from the hook. So the loop around your hook does not count as anything. And then your first V is your first chain from the hook. And then your second V is where you're going to be going in. So starting in your second chain from the hook, you're going to do 24 single crochets across. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, and make sure your chain isn't twisting as you're going. Make sure you're always going in that top of your chain. Eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24 in that last stitch. Now you're going to chain one and turn. Row two, you're going to do three single crochets. You're going to chain five and skip five. Then you're going to do eight single crochets. Then you're going to chain five and skip five. And then you're going to do three single crochets. So starting in that first stitch right there, three single crochets, one, two, three, now chain five, one, 
two, three, four, five, and then you're going to skip five. One, two, three, four, five. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. And then you're going to go in that sixth stitch. And you're going to do eight single crochets across. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And now you're going to skip five on the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. And go in that sixth stitch. And you should have three single crochets. One, two, and three. And when you go in this third one, sometimes the, the back side of that V is hidden. Make sure you're getting under both of the stitches of the V. Chain one and turn. Round three, you're going to do 24 single crochets across. So starting in that first stitch right here. One, two, three, and then you need to get in the right um, stitch here. So you'll see you have one, two, three, four, five bumps, and then that's your next stitch um, after. Make sure you're getting in all five of those bumps when you're going. So one. Two, three, four, and five. And then you should be back off the chains going into this stitch next. And there should be eight, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you got to find your five bumps in your chains going across. So your first one is right here. Don't miss that, that little bump right there. Sometimes they're a little tricky to get into. One, two, three, four, and this last one, five. Then you should have three stitches left. One, two, and three. And make sure you get under both sides of the V. And that's a total of 24 stitches. For the next six rows, I'm going to be breaking them up like we just did this one. And then I will give you a row count up at the top in brackets with the pattern instructions. All right, so chain one and turn. And now we're going to do half double crochets. So if you've never done a half double crochet, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, grab your yarn, pull up and three, through. So you have three loops on your hook and you're going to grab your yarn and you're going to pull through those three loops. So it's basically like a single crochet, only you wrap your yarn first before you insert. So that was one. Two, 
two. three and four. Now we're going to increase one time so we're going to put two half double crochets in that same stitch. So one and two. Now we're going to do 14 half double crochets. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Now we're going to increase in the next stitch. So two half double crochets in that next stitch. One and two. And we should have four half double crochets left. One, two, three, and four. Make sure you get down through both sides of the stitch. Chain one and turn. Row five, we're going to do five half double crochets, an increase, 14 half double crochets, an increase, and five half double crochets for a total of 28. So starting in our first stitch, we're going to do five half double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to increase one and two in the same stitch. Now we're going to do 14 half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, and 14. Now we're going to increase. So two half double crochets in the same stitch. One and two. And then we should have five half double crochets left. One, two, three, four, and five. Chain one and turn. Row six, you're going to do six half double crochets, one increase, 14 half double crochets, one increase, and six half double crochets for a total of 30. So six half double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we're going to increase 
one and two. And remember, this whole thing is half double crochets now. And then we're going to do 14 half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Now we're going to do an increase. One and two. And then we're going to do six single crochets. Or half double crochet, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Chain one and turn. Row seven will be seven half double crochets, an increase. 14 half double crochets, an increase, and 7 half double crochets. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and do your increase. One and two. <clears throat> Excuse me. Fourteen half double crochets. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Now you're going to do your increase. One and two, and then we should have seven half double crochets left. One, two, three, four, five, six. And your last one, seven. Chain one and turn. All right. So we have chain one and we're turning. And row eight, you're going to do eight half double crochets, one increase. 14 half double crochets, one increase, and eight half double crochets. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, and then you're going to increase. So one and two in the same stitch. 
Then we're going to do 14 half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Now we're going to do an increase. One and two in the same stitch. And then we should have eight left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and our last one. Get in there, eight. Chain one and turn. Row nine, you're gonna do nine half double crochets, one increase, 14 half double crochets, one increase, and then nine half double crochets for a total of 36. So, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, increase. One and two. I'm going to do 14 half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oops. 14, and then we're going to do our increase. One and two. Then we should have nine half double crochets on the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and nine. Chain one and whoops, turn. All right, for rows um, ten to thirteen. We're just going to do 36 half double crochets, and that's four rows, and we're going to get out our counter and keep track of them that way. All right. So one, remember, we're still doing just half double crochets. Two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, and thirty-six. Chain one and turn. And we'll flip our marker to one. And again, 36 half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. Chain one and turn. I'll flip our little stitch marker, counter. And another row of 36. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36, chain one and turn. Uh, row three is done. We have one more row. So 36 half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, and thirty-six. And then you're going to tie that off because that is our fourth row of thirty-six. And you should have a piece that looks something like this. All right, we're gonna start the hood next. And what you wanna do is find your front and your back. And this is gonna be my inside because if you see, this is the back of the first row. If you look at the single crochets on the other side, you can see the V's. On the first row um, it's not really gonna matter but I like to um, make sure my first row is the inside so if you're not sure um, have your starting string on on this side and that should get you in the same position as I'm in 
All right, now you want to mark your seventh stitch. So your first stitch is going to be right here where your knot is. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So I'm going to insert my hook in there right now. Grab your yarn and leave yourself a little bit of a tail. This should be um, crocheted over, but just in case you miss it, you'll have a little bit there to weave in. So make your knot with the loop on the end. Insert your hook in the loop, and we're just gonna attach that there with one chain, I guess. Yeah. Now we're going to do 12 half double crochets across and we're going to start in that stitch we just attached to. One. What do I hear? Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And you should have about seven stitches on this side left over. You're going to chain one and turn. Row two, we're going to do 12 increases across. So that's two half double crochets in every stitch. So half double crochet, increase, one and two, increase. Three and four, increase, five and six, increase, seven and eight, increase, nine and ten. Make sure you're doing half double crochets still, increase. 11 and 12, increase, 13 and 14, increase, 15 and 16, increase, 17 and 18, increase, 19 and 20, Increase, 21 and 22. And our last increase, make sure you get under both of those Vs. 23 and 24. Chain one and turn. Rows three to 10, we're just gonna do 24 half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 
17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Make sure you get under both of the loops. And then chain one and turn. Grab your row counter. That's one row of eight. And 24 half double crochets again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, and twenty-four. Chain one and turn. That was our second row of eight. Now we're going to do another row of 24 half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Chain one and turn. And that was three rows of eight. So another row of 24 half double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 
23 and 24. Oops. Chain one and turn. So that was row four of eight. And another 24 half double crochets. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Chain one and turn. And that was five rows of eight. And now we're going to do another row of 24 half double crochets. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Chain one and turn. And it's probably starting to look a little big to you. Don't worry. Don't forget, you got to go around her head and her hair. And um, when we start closing it, it will not look quite as big. So that was row, our, our sixth row of eight. Another row of half double crochets, 24. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. 
chain one and turn. And that was our seventh row of eight. So we're about to start our last one. Another 24 half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, and twenty-four. I don't know why I have such a hard time with that 24th one here. Chain one and turn, and that's our eight rows. So we just finished rows three to ten. Row 11 is going to be ten half double crochets, two decreases, and ten half double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, whoops, sorry, ten, and now we're going to do two decreases, so yarn over in your next stitch, grab your yarn, pull up and through, you have three loops on your hook, and then go into the next stitch after that. Grab your yarn, pull up and through. You've got four loops on your hook. And then just go through all four loops. And one more time, yarn over in the next stitch. Grab your yarn, pull up. Go in your next stitch, grab your yarn, pull up, and pull through all four loops. Now we should have 10 half double crochets on the other side. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oops, I lost some of my yarn there. So I'm, I just finished eight, nine, and ten. Chain one and turn. Row 12, you're going to do nine half double crochets, two decreases, nine half double crochets for a total of 20. And our last row was 22. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, and then 2 half double crochet decreases, 1, Two, and then nine half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight and nine. Whoops. Chain one and turn. Row thirteen, you're gonna do eight half double crochets, two decreases, eight half double crochets. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now two decreases, one decrease. And two decreases. And then we should have eight more on the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. Chain one and turn. Row fourteen is going to be seven half double crochets two decreases and seven half double crochets. And this is our last row. So one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, and two decreases. One, two, and seven half double crochets. One, two, Three, four, five, six, and seven. There we go. That one went nice. So just double check which side is your outside. Um, so this is the row we started our hood on, and that's got the right side of the Vs. And if you looked at it upside down, our first row of the jacket would be the Vs, as well as we have our hood starting string and our first chain string on this side. So this is the outside. So you're gonna fold your hood inside out Line up your stitches. Okay. 
and you're just going to slip stitch through the front side and the back side all the way to the end. So I'll get in that first stitch and your next stitch and then grab your yarn and slip stitch and don't worry if it's a little uneven because we're going to do single crochets all the way around. So find your next matching stitches. So it's just like when you um, sewed your arms together. You're going through the front V's and the back V's and then instead of single crocheting you're slip stitching. Next set, slip stitch, next set, slip stitch, next set, slip stitch, next set, slip stitch, next set, slip stitch and then if you can get one last one in just try and get that in there and then tie it off with enough of a tail to weave that in all right let's do the sleeves so you're going to make your knot, the loop on the end, so we can attach the yarn. And if you leave the tail fairly short, you should be able to um, crochet over that. So make sure you're on the right side. And for the sleeve, you're going to have five stitches on the bottom. One, two... Where are they? One, two, three, four, five. And then you're going to have two stitches um, that uh, you're going to decrease in. And then you're going to do five across the top. And then two stitches on the side you're going to decrease in. And that just makes it so you don't have a hole on the sides. And then you're going to finish your last couple stitches. So I'm going to go in the third stitch. So one, two, three. Attach my yarn. Chain one. Sorry, I can't really tell if I'm in the camera here good. And then in that same stitch, you're going to do a half double crochet around your tail. Then you're going to do another half double crochet. So that's two. And then one more half double crochet. So that's three on the bottom and you're going to have two more when you get around. Now when you get to the side here, you're going to go in these big hole stitches and do a decrease. And then you should have five stitches across the top half double crochets, one, two, three, four, and five. And then now you're going to be in the side stitch of the arm and you're going to do two decrease or one decrease, sorry. And then you should have two stitches left. One, and 
and two for a total of 12. Five, five, and then two on the sides. And then you're gonna slip stitch into that, um, the back of that half double crochet. I'm gonna do that again. I think I grabbed some yarn I wasn't supposed to. Oh, got it. There we go. So slip stitch, chain one, and that was one row of 12 single crochets. I'm going to put my marker in, and we're going to do eight rows. So row one to eight. So that was one. Whoopsie. <sighs> And now we'll do row two. 12 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And then you're going to slip stitch in that last row. And chain one, flip your marker, so that was two rows. Now in that same row that you just slipped, st or stitched that you just slip stitched. Sorry, it's like midnight here and I think I'm getting over this. So half double crochet and you're going to do 12 of them all the way around. So one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, slip stitch, and chain one. So that was row three. Another 12 half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And slip stitch to join and chain one. And that was row four. So we're halfway. 
So half double crochet in that same stitch you slip stitched in. One, 12 single crochets, two or half double crochets, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Slip stitch to join. And chain one. That was five rows now. Another 12 half double crochets starting in the same stitch you slip stitched. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, slip stitch to join, chain one, that's six rows. Twelve half double crochets starting in that same stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, oops, eleven, and twelve. Slip stitch to join, chain one, seven rows. So now here's our last row, 12 half double crochets starting in that same stitch you slip stitched in. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven and twelve. And that was our eighth row. So now we're going to slip stitch to join. And then we're going to tie off 
leaving enough of a tail to weave that in. Okay, now we're gonna do the other sleeve. So make your knot with the loop on the end. And you're gonna start in about your third stitch back. So one, two, three. Attach your yarn. Chain one, remember that doesn't count as a stitch. Now we're gonna do three half double crochets on the one bottom. So one, make sure to go over your tail. Two. And three. And then you're going to do your decrease in the side stitches. Then you're going to do five across. The top. One. Two, three, four, and five. Then you're going to do your decrease on the sides. Decrease. And then you'll have two stitches left on the bottom. One and two. I just kind of made my own stitch right there. If you run into that problem, then slip stitch to join and chain one. And that was row one. I'm not going to use a stitch marker this time. So in that same stitch, you just slip stitched in another 12 half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And slip stitch to join and chain one. And if I happen to say the wrong stitch, um, they're all half double crochets. So that was row two. Starting in that first stitch, we just slip stitched another 12 half double crochets. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven.
11 and 12 and slip stitch to join and chain one. That was row three. Another 12 half double crochets starting in that stitch that you just slip stitched in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Slip stitch to join and chain one. That's four rows. We're halfway there. So another 12 half double crochets, starting in that first stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Slip stitch to join, chain one. And that was row five. So now another 12 half double crochets starting in that first stitch. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, slip stitch to join. I don't know why my hook's so squeaky. So that was row six. We got two more rows left. Um, chain one if you haven't chained one yet. And another twelve half double crochets. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Slip stitch to join. 
turn chain one. So that was seven rows. And now our last row, starting in the same stitch, you slip stitched 12 half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11 and 12 and then slip stitch to join and then you'll tie that off leaving enough of a tail to sew that in okie dokie we're almost done Let's weave a few of these ends in. So we'll do the hood. And just go in and around a couple of times. I'm just spinning around one side. And then I'm going to spin around the other side. But I'm not going all the way to the end. And I'm going to spin around this side. So I'm going to the top loop of the slip stitches. And then just maybe across a couple of times. Okay, and you can do a better job than that if you're worried about that end coming out. And then let's do the sleeves. So I'm going to turn them inside out. And that makes it a little easier. Now I like to go down in the V where I um, tied off to kind of hide that knot a little bit and then just catch a stitch and go up a row or two before I start weaving in. And then just go up a, a row or two. and start weaving it back and forth between the stitches. So I usually go just a couple of times. So I would consider this one. Two and a third time and you can obviously do that more if you feel it's not secure enough put that back right side and then inside out your other arm Go down in that V and grab 
have a stitch or two. And then just get up to your next row or to match whatever you just did on the other side. And then go back and forth a couple of times. Cut it and then re put that the right side. And if you did like me, because I this is why we left a little tail when we started our hood, I forgot to go over it. So I'm just going to weave that under a few stitches, most of the way across. And we'll just pretend that I had gone over it. If you want to weave it back and forth, go for that. And then I think everything else will be going over. But if you want to just trim those up so they're a little shorter. Is that one more or is that it? I think that's it. Just two. All right, now we're just going to go around. So we can leave a little bit of an end if you want. We'll be going over that right away. So make sure you have your jacket right side out. And somewhere in the middle, this way I guess, if we're going to be going around this way, so upside down, so the nicer side of your stitch is showing. You're going to attach that yarn. Just with a chain. And we're now we're going to single crochet all the way around. So one single crochet in every stitch starting in it where you slip stitched and I'm not going to count these out because all our stitches might be a little bit different depending on where we started so you're going over that tail And then we're coming up on a corner now. And when we get to the corner, we're going to do three single crochets. So it'll be one on the bottom side, one kind of at a 45 degree angle, and then one on the top side. So bottom, turn a little bit, put a second one in, and turn all the way, and put a third one in. Now when you're going up, I'm going to think for a second, when you're going up um, two rows of half double crochet is three rows of single crochet. So between each of these lines that we have, we want to have three single crochets. So I'm going to be going, so right against this line will be one in the middle will be two and then on this side of the line will be three 
Then I'm going to start all over again at one on the other side of the line. Um, so for here, I'm going to go, I'm going to put three in, but you can put two in. So I'm at this side of the line with three. So now I'm going to go on the opposite side of the line. One in the middle. And one against this side of the line. So we have three single crochets in between these two half double crochet rows. You'll see your lines a little better. You can see them better down here. So it'll be one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, and I'm not going to count those out. Let's just go up the side, just like I told you. It doesn't really matter where that middle one goes, as long as there's three in between. And then when you get up to the top, you were single crocheting. So just put two or three in that top there. And then when you get your corner, you're going to do three again in that same stitch. One on the side, one at a 45, and we're going to start going over our tail. And then one on the top. And now you put one single crochet in every stitch across the front of the collar here. Whoop. I'm going to go under two there. Make sure you're going over that tail. I stopped watching my camera, so I hope I've been in you the whole time and then now you're going back into half double crochets so you can kind of try and make sure you're doing three in each between each set of lines Kind of watch as you're getting to the top where you um, slip stitched it. So I've got one more set here of three. And then when I get to the very top, I'm going to put two in there before I start on this side of the line. So kind of get over on this side and then over on the other side. And then start back in with your three between the lines. And now you're just basically doing exactly what you did on the other side. You're halfway, only in reverse. Um, let's see. Um, I guess... While I'm doing this, I'm just going to remind you, especially if this was one of your first videos with me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Um, and then every time I load a new video, you'll be 
um, notified. Plus, I believe there's a subscription feed when you go to YouTube, and you can just click on that, and you can see um, all the vid latest videos of anyone that you've subscribed to only, instead of the um, whatever YouTube alg algorithm picks for you as well as most of my videos down in the description. I have usually a few links. I'll put any related videos. So like if you were doing my farm animals, I have all the farm animals down there. If you're doing my um, 80 horror classic characters, say you're doing Jason, I'll have the other ones in there. Um, I'm at the corner, so I'm going to do three. Um, and then I always have a link to my Facebook craft page where you can share a photo of anything you've made of mine. Um, at the top, it's a pinned post, but it says featured, and you actually have to click on it to open it up. And then you can comment in there or put a photo. You don't have to join or follow or like um, the page or anything. You can just go right in there and comment. Or you can find the post I have where I have, um, like, say for Caroline, there will be a post on my page you can go right into that post if you can find it and oh yeah there's one more and uh, post what you've made now I'm at my other corner so I'm gonna do three in there and I'm down on the bottom half almost done um, anything else I do take requests but um, I kind of am selective of what I make. So if you give me a request and I can see it in my head right away or I have a plan, um, I'm sure to make it at some point. Like it's taken me eight months to make Caroline. It was one of my first requests. Um, and if you have one, a request that I'd love to do, but... I just can't figure out how to do it yet. It might sit there for a while. Um, and I don't clear out any of my request comments out of my app. So if you've requested something six months ago and I haven't answered you, it's just because I haven't made it yet. Because when I make it, I am going to put the link on that comment. So if I haven't answered you it's just because I'm tying off now it's because I haven't made it yet I write down every single request and I probably have easily over a hundred of them and I've, I've maybe made I don't even think I've made 10 yet but I'm starting to get working on them where is my needle there it is so we just got to tie that in or weave it in, I guess. So, I'm going to go down in that V. You don't have to do this. Sometimes it's tricky to get in here. I'm surprised all three times I've tried it in this video, I've got it. Because sometimes it just doesn't want to work. Alright, go up a row or so. I haven't been watching if I've been in the vid in the camera view, view, so I hope so. Now you're just gonna go back and forth a couple of times. Oh, are you getting excited to try this on her? I already have. This is my second jacket, so I already know what it looks like. trying to think if there's anything else I need to say. Of 
course, liking and commenting on my videos also helps me out. Since they're um, free videos. Oh, I do have... I always have the materials list and um, the little disclaimer at the beginning of my video after I say what I'm making. But I don't know, um, people are missing it. So if you want to sell anything that I, on my YouTube channel, yes, sell as many as you want. That makes me happy if you get some sales and are able to to sell anything um so i just you just don't share the pattern um share the link but not the pat actual pattern anywhere okay it's time to try it on and i'm not gonna put that one on because i already have her in this one so there is your core line um I think I've pretty much said everything already that I need to say as far as subscribing, liking, and commenting. Um, so I'm just going to say, if you see, ever see anything in the background, um, I have videos for everything. You just have to go to my channel and click videos, and it will show you everything that I have here. If you want to make it. Um, oh, I also have have this guy in um, green, brown, and oh, pink. <laughs> um, if you want to turn him into a Care Bear, um, and I will select a couple videos for you. They'll show up in these four corners. Um, if you want to try any of those, um, I guess that's everything. So. I hope you guys have a great day, be safe, and happy crocheting.